Hey guys, what's up and welcome to Engage Learning. So in this tutorial, what we are going to see is how to log in into your MySQL. This is a very basic tutorial. So let's look into this. So to log in into MySQL, you will have to use MySQL command, MySQL, and then you write it like dash u. U means, okay, who is the username? You are going to tell this to your command, dash u name of your user in my case this is root and then you will write dash p dash p means password so you can write your password right here or you can just leave it and let the system ask you for the password the preferred way is not to write password here because suppose you have written your password and you have logged into your system then this password will be stored in the history of the command lines okay so then somebody somebody will come and he will just write history and he will see this command and he will see your password right here written so he will then be able to know what is your password so never write your password in this command okay and let the system ask for the password so you have written who is the user and now you have like said okay ask me the password after this command dash p and then you hit enter so here it is asking for the password and you can safely type your password here so nobody will be able to know your password but if you had written it after dash p people would have known about your password once they have gone through the history of all the commands that you have written okay so this is the way you log in uh, into your system so this was actually the very basic way so here you have logged into the system as a root user okay MySQL also provides you a default user. Default user can see, they cannot see some system tables like performance schema, MySQL. I mean, there are so many system tables default, so default user will not be able to see. But the benefit of default user is that you can just get into the system without writing username or password like this. So here I have written only MySQL, but I am able to log in into the system. I can do certain tasks here depending on what privileges I have given to the default user but at least you can get into the system so this is another way this is like getting into the system by uh, being the default user but here you are getting into the system being the root user okay exit clear okay so that was the basic way of uh, getting into the system now many times I mean here you are getting into the MySQL of your local system but many a times you want to log in into a system which is remote so the host of your MySQL server is not the local host it's someone maybe it's an EC2 maybe it's your office desktop so you want to access MySQL server hosted on some other server in that case when you log in into your system dash u username dash p password and then you write dash h h is for the host information okay then you will give here the host ip so here you are logging into the mysql system which is hosted on this ip okay so this is the way you tell your mysql okay to log in to the mysql on this ip with this user and then the password so this is for remotely hosted mysql login thing so that was one way that was one thing now you want to log into mysql into a given database okay so here when you will log in into the system you will not i, mean, I have logged into the system and let's see which database i have i am currently using by default directly get into that particular database when you are logging in so for that you will have you can write the name of the database after dash p okay so mysql dash u name of the user dash p and then name of the database here i'm going to use my company password and now i'm going to check which database i'm using So I'm using my company. So 
I have directly, I mean, I during the logging into my SQL 